your ears and you and you can in my head and like co-workers friends and everybody else right and that that's a, a hard pill to swallow when you got friends and little ones and they going sideways right and they're trying to drag you down with them yeah. and they're trying to kill your spirit kill your vibe right that's it's hard to um put up with because you love these people and sometimes you got to disassociate yourself right, right. until you got to work with you because i can't help you if i'm like this you know what i'm saying and a lot of people can't even understand that but it's the truth if i'm financially broke i can't help you yeah because we're not we need to get ahead and then one of us got to get ahead to help the other one and tell me a better place um spiritually financially um whatever i can't help you um emotionally mm-hmm. your emotion shalom shalom family climb on in climb right, on in right right and we do that too often too, we, i think we overextend ourselves because we love everybody we do we neglect working on self time you know time. we do too often I, i'm guilty of it I, I know how you work i know how you are y'all guilty of it as well sometimes <laughs> i think i don't know maybe you have better handle on it than i but i know i fall victim to that we, quite often we we help when we do that, it'd be like we get energy from each other. We do, Thanks. we do. You know but we also have the emotional vampires sometimes that we're trying to help because we love this yeah. emotional vampire and they just sucking us. <laughs> right, right. And right. then you you ain't around, so I can't really get at you. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You really ain't around, I can't get at them. I need help. Sometimes we need help, and right. sometimes we're so scattered. Oh, we saw like like we need to gather amongst each other. Right. Like then we can also do that and hold each other accountable mm-hmm. for our actions. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it ain't me just trying to help this brother out. It's us trying to help this brother out. Yeah. It ain't just you trying to help this brother out. It's us. It ain't just Yuri. It's us. It ain't just Mali Yaki. It's us. Not just Julie. It's us. You see, see what I'm saying? Right, right. We need yeah. to do that. Yeah. We need to do it. The sooner the better. Hey, look, we got to hurry up because it's up and I, what, 2 and 12 it says, gather yourself together, or ye nation not desired, before that great day of the Lord. Great so that's what. So yeah, I I didn't want to put that on there, but I, I know push that on, on, bro. Like, you know, bro. yeah, man. Um, it's good seeing you though. Yeah. I can tell you that. You know what I'm saying? All oh, praise the most high. Is Junior here? He's not. It's just me and the real that's it. Oh, and then we're gonna get it started here in about five, about four minutes, man. Most high, will I see him soon? About tonight. four minutes. Soon. That's it. Soon. Oh, praise all praise. Some things, oh, you know, some things happen. All praise. I am also, uh and um you know I'm back on Facebook, so I'm a, um I seen him on uh Facebook. I'm gonna go ahead and send him an invite. See, see him on, on Instagram, he thinks he's swole. Oh, he thinks he's swole. Salawan he <laughs> 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 family, Salawan family. Let me go ahead and shout some of my people out. Let's wait. One, two, three, four, five, man. I know there's more people out there, man. Let, let, let us know who's up in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? You already know who's in the building over her. You know? <laughs> over her. Salawan, so, so my push. Uh, what is that? Ahaba uh, Yehuda. Shalom. Shalom. Mahogany Graham. Shalom. Mahogany. I think it's Mahogany. Okay. Lebanon, my brother, how, how be us down, man? You local pull up. Kasiya, ya, Kasiya, Shalawan, Todd Telly. Shalawan. I'll be as thou, Shalawan, to you and your family. Tuvaya, Yisrael, Yahu. You got to ask my brother. Shalawan. Coy Thomas. Shalawan. Aisha Frazier. Shalawan, my sister. Shalawan. Malak Israel. Yahu. Shalawan. Mina Jet. Shalom, is thou? Mina J been with us for a long time, hasn't she? Faithful sister, yeah. you know what I'm saying. She said, I, "I've been with you through thick and thin." Kind. That's and that's and that's and right. That's what you it's know all what about. And that's right. You know, um, you can't be. We can't be jumping from families to families. You know what I'm saying and stuff like that. Just because we, you know, somebody might say something that you don't like. You know what I mean? Come on now. You know. Uh, your mama said some things that she uh, that uh that that you didn't like. We still rock with years mama. ago. You know, I say you still rock with her. You know, so told our about Mina J for for being a faithful sister. You know, I'm saying we love you indeed and the truth. Solomon Mac, yeah, you right here. I see you, man. You know, what I mean, you drove all the way down here from from uh the Carolinas. Man. You know, what I mean, but hey, Nehemiah, uh, we uh, we read whole chapters, Nehemiah. Come on over, bro. You know, Nehemiah, he probably. Uh, 
Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro always say you're always reading whole chapters. Yeah, pull up. And he always talking that. Pull up. Pull up, man. You gotta stand. I got my brother with me. You gotta, yeah, ain't no yeah. We gonna jump your big self now, boy. <laughs> yeah. But um, and that was an excellent uh class that you and uh our brother uh Malachi Mac did last night. That was excellent, and it was uh it was greatly needed. Queen Kings Proverbs thirty one. Shalom, my sister. You know um. Would love to see your face sooner than later. You and the children, August dreams, August dreams. Shalom, my sister. Shalom. Um, Nahamya, Nahamya, <laughs> aka Slim. <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah, I'm great. talking mess now, man. You know what I mean? I'm talking mess. I got my brother right here, Solomon Mac, man. You understand me in the building? Oh, praise! I feel good when I feel good when I see my brothers, man. I get juice, man. You know, that's why it says two can take over. Can wait, how many can two uh how many can two of us whoop? A thousand. A thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand? A thousand? Ten thousand? Well then shoot, there it is there. I can understand it. You know what I'm saying? In our righteousness, we go, boy, look. But anywho, uh, we have a great lesson uh that our brother Uriel uh, has put together. Um get your napkins and um and let's eat on the scriptures. You know what I'm saying for tonight. Um, we also know the vibration that's going out in um in uh in the Americas right now, um <clears throat> how they are how they continue to kill us, you know. Uh, they might have lost their jobs, but they haven't lost their life, you know. Um there's a lot of um people that are saying that revenge is mine, say at the Lord, uh turn the other cheek and things of that nature. Let's put all that into perspective, you know, and um, and also remember that, you know, it was your mama, or your dad that just that, that that got brutally beaten down, you know, what I'm saying or choked out by the police. You know, would you be uh, still uh, singing that out? No. Oh, turn the other cheek, you know, uh, uh, pray for your enemies. So, you know, let's let's put that into perspective, y'all. You know, let's continue to pray for the downfall of this wicked be system. And remember, you know, the uh, and remember the uh the title of this lesson. The title of this lesson. You know, uh there's a, a wisdom in a little. Thanks. There's wisdom in a little. All right. Yeah, with that being said, family, shalom on Ms. Dow. We're gonna open up with you got some. Uh, Solomon, yeah, you got Solomon, songs? You got Solomon, Anybody in the chat got a song? Y'all want us to open up with Nahamia? I was gonna say Psalms 23. All right, we're gonna open up with Psalms 23. Right, come on. The most has permission, we're gonna open up with Psalms 23. All righty, all right, we're gonna end it with 17. Bro, got 17, so we're gonna end it with 17. We're going to open up with 23, we're going to end with 17. Psalm 7. Psalm 7. No, we got it. Well, Psalm 7. Okay, well, Psalm 7. Must have permission to get it. Oh, yeah, my Elohim, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. Least he tear my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces while there is none to deliver. None, not a, not a deliverer. Oh, Yah, my Elohim, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is my enemy. Let the enemy persecute my soul and take it. Yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay my honor in the dust. Say la. Say la. O rise, O Elohim, in thine anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of my enemies and await for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about. 
for their sake. Therefore, return thou on high. The Most High shall judge the people. Judge me, O Yahweh, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that's in me. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, come on. but establish the just. For the righteous Elohim tried the hearts and reigns. My defense is in the Most High, is of the Most High, which saveth the upright in heart. Yahweh judges the righteous, and, El and the Most High is angry with the wicked every day. Judges is a righteous judge. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He hath bent his bow and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordained his arrow against the persecutors. Behold, he traveled with iniquity and have conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit and digged it and is fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. Hi, I will praise the Most High. Verse 17. I will praise the Most High according to his righteousness and I will sing praise to the name of the Elohim most high. Hallelujah. Selah. Yo. Yo. This was difficult. I never had uh, seen all this stuff right here. Yeah. See this stuff right there? Mm -hmm. I was like, what the, what is that? This is like, you know, yeah, I was like, all right, with that being said, family, we're going to open this up with uh, Matthew chapter 5. We're going to start in verse 14, 14, 14 through 20. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 through 20. Yeah, Matthew chapter 5. 14 through 20. <clears throat> right, let me share my screen. So it's this one, right? This one? Yeah, it's that one. Right, so unless you want uh, uh, it to be not cheese being seen, yeah. it be that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's it. All right, so Matthew chapter 5, we're going to start at verse 14. <clears throat> Matthew 5, verse 14. Let's uh, so start at verse 13. Come on. Okay. Matthew 5, verse 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. All right. But if the salt have lost its savior, mm -hmm. wherewith shall it be salted? Or its flavor, right? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out. Mm -hmm. And to be trodden under foot of men. Right, so don't lose your flavor. Don't lose your flavor. Come on, you're the salt of the earth. Like, nothing tastes good without salt. You can season your, your meat or your vegetables. If you don't put salt in it, it doesn't have that taste or it doesn't have that, that kick to it. Nothing, the, the flavors doesn't stand out. All right? Come on. Ye are the light of the world. You're the what? Ye are the light of the world. Come on. A city that's set on a hill... Cannot be hid. Come on. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it give it light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works right. and glorify your Abba which is in heaven. Come on. Think not, think not that I am come to destroy the law right. or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So he let you know he ain't come to destroy the law. So that whole doctrine that the law is done away with, he tell you, I didn't come to destroy the law, nor the prophets. So everything that the prophets had wrote about the Messiah, of him coming into the flesh, he was manifesting through his walk. He was fulfilling that when he was down here on earth. That's what he was fulfilling. Come on. For verily I say unto you, Till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle 
shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. Break one of these what? One of these least commandments. So, so you know, if you break one of these least commandments, right? Like what? Lying. Right. He said, look, if you break one of the least commandments, and that's something that's little, right? If he's comparing it to least, he's saying it's little. The commandments are, this This gives you life. I'm not saying that the commandments are little. He's just saying if you break one of these least commandments, right? Come mm -hmm. on. And so teach men so. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Right. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. It said, look, you have to do them. It said do and teach them. Right. People, our people, we learn from, we are visual people. We learn from vision. We have to see somebody doing something. That's how we learn. Some people learn by hearing. Some people learn by seeing. But Israel as a whole seems like we are a people that have to see stuff in order to believe it. Mm. In order to believe it, you have to see it. If I tell you I got $1,000 in my pocket right now, you wouldn't believe me unless I showed it to you. That's right. If you like, let me see it. I don't believe you. Let me see it. I have to see it. So it says those that teach people to break the commandments will be the least in the kingdom. He's saying, you know, these people won't be in the kingdom if you're teaching people to break the commandments. Verse 20. For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes uh -huh. and Pharisees, right. ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. But remember, they was telling people they were supposed to keep the commandments. But they wasn't keeping the commandments. Right. Our righteousness have to exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees. So I just wanted to go there really quick. So make sure your righteousness is exceeding the righteousness of the Pharisees. All right. So we're going to go to Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9. You want to start on verse 46. Unless you see some words you want to start, but we're going to start on 46 through 48. Luke chapter 9, verse 46. <clears throat> Then there are my fault, family. Just trying to get used to this computer. <laughs> All right, so Luke chapter 9, verse 46. What do you say? Yes, sir. <clears throat> then there arose a reasoning among them. Right. Which of them sh should be greatest? Should, should be the what? Should be greatest. So now we got the disciples, right? They talking to each other seeing who's gonna be the greatest when the messiah leaves, right? What do you say? And y'all sure uh -huh. perceiving the thoughts of their heart took a child. All right, he took a what? Took a child, right? So this child is a babe, right? He's younger than all of them. He took a baby, he's trying to tell them something through a child. Come on, and set him by by him and said unto them, all right. Whosoever shall receive this child in my name, in my what? In my name, right. receiveth me. And whosoever shall receive me, receiveth him that sent me. Come on. For he that is least among you all. Him that is what? Least among you all. Right. The same shall be great. So it's saying, you know, those that are least among you, those are the ones that just want to be great. Those are the great men. Those that are least among you. You got to think about if you look at script for what it is, a lot of people who were least among anybody ended up becoming great men. That's Just right. like like uh, Joseph. He was the youngest son. He ended up becoming a great man. All right. He ended up being down in Egypt, becoming the right hand man of Pharaoh down in Egypt. And when his family came down there, he had his family back. That's right. Just like when David, he was the least among uh, Jesse's sons. So when. When uh, he came to 
get one of the sons so he can anoint them. He anointed David. David was the youngest one. Right. He was the least in his father's house, and he was anointed. Right. So that was a great man. There's many examples. We're going to show you least men end up becoming great men. Just want to go there for that real quick. So we're gonna go to thank you. We're gonna go to Matthew chapter 19, verse 30. We just gonna go to Matthew 19, verse 30. We're gonna hit one verse and then we're gonna go to Matthew 18. We're gonna go to Matthew chapter 19, just one verse. Matthew chapter 19. Yeah, verse okay. 30. We're just gonna hit one verse. Verse 30. I gotta read 29. Man. Okay, we're gonna read 29. I gotta read 29. Man, this computer. That's a Matthew chapter 19, verse 29 through 30. Right. Well, no, it's 29 is gonna, uh, it's not on the same flow of the come on. Said. Okay, I'm gonna still read 29 then. <clears throat> and everyone that has forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, right. or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake. For who? For my name's sake. So everything that we do, we have to do for his name's sake. When we are forsaking something, even forsaking yourself. Right. Like denying yourself each and every day. Denying the flesh every day. Right. Not just Monday or not just Tuesday, not just when every single day. That's why Paul said, look, I die daily. Mm. He killed himself every single day. Every day he died. Whether it was through, he felt like he was dying through men who was trying to kill him or he was sacrificing himself every day for the gospel. Right. Come on. Shall receive an hundredfold. Shall receive what? An hundredfold. So look, this is just a little. Your family, when none of this means that. Is compared to the kingdom of God, like your house, your your wife, your brothers, your children. All that is little compared to the kingdom of God. He said, "Look, if you forsake all this for my name's sake, you gonna receive a hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life." Because He gives everlasting life. Come on. But many that are first, right, shall be last, mm. and the last. Shall be first. So look, let us let you know those that are least shall be first, and those that are first shall be last. Mm. Mm. So it's it's good to have little. It's wise and little numbers, family. All right, so we're gonna go to Matthew chapter eighteen. Yeah, because when you do have a lot, when you do have a, a little, actually, and somebody takes the little that you have, it ain't like they took a lot because you only had a little. Right, you only had a little, and it's you like, and you saying? you think about it, it's like, look, somebody take a dollar from you, you like, I ain't tripping, like, it's just it's just a little dollar, yeah. you know, you ain't tripping off, it's like it's, it's a little dollar, but somebody yes. take a lot from you, or you be ready to go to war, right? <laughs> you be ready to war for the empty I'm the shells kill, of everybody. Yeah, does it kill you? Matthew 18, verse 1. Come on. At the same time came the disciples unto Yahshua. And look, notice these are the disciples, right? And remember with the with the Messiah, man, he started off with 70 disciples. And he ended up with 12. Right? He ended up with the least number. Then he ended up losing one. Then with him losing that one, now he got these other disciples, and his numbers was even stronger through the the, the eleven disciples who he had so left. So on, bro. Wow, what's up? Come on. So on. Say, <laughs> who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Lock the door. And Yahshua called a little child unto him. Right. And set him in the midst of them and said, 
Verily I say unto you, right. except ye be converted, be what? Be converted uh -huh. and become as little children. Become as what? Become as little children. Now grown men. Become as little children. Come on. Ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Because the little children, they want to be taught. You always see children. Children wants to be taught all the time. Like your daughter, I, I know she loves being taught. My children love being taught. They said, look, unless you be like little children to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Come on. You shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. What's true? As become... As become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Come on. Man, Whosoever, man. therefore, shall humble himself, shall what? Shall humble himself, right? As this little child, the same as greatest in the kingdom of heaven. So let me you know we have to be humble. We have to be little children when it comes to the walk. We have to be men and understanding, but little children when it comes to the walk. Being willing to talk, being taught, and you and your brother had differences, being able to put that aside and keep it pushing. You see kids all the time. Like, I watch my children all the time. I learn through my children. I, I watch them argue with each other for 15 minutes, leave the room, come back. Now they all playing with the same toy. Oh. And, that's how, and that's how we got to That's how we gotta, uh, uh, act. Right. You know what I mean? That's how we got to be. You know, um, and we gotta remember too. You know, Hamashiach, Hamashiach washes washes Judas's feet. You know, and he knew that Judas was going to betray him, but he still washed his feet. You know, we we on the other hand, a brother might do a slight against us. You know, might and it might be a slight, but we hold on to that damn grudge. Yeah, you hold you know on to it. Yeah. And that right there, that right there grows into a cancerous form inside our own soul. And then, it's, and then before you know it, we start spreading that out to other brothers, right. and sisters. And, and but then, but notice it, it started small. Right. It started off little, and then it became big. It became super big. That's why the little things we have to pay attention to the littlest things, man. The littlest things goes the furthest way. Right. That's what we're trying to show tonight. The littlest things go the furthest way. Like that little thing can straight cause you and your brother to stray, or it could just cause you to even not forgive your brother. Right. You know, the, the script tell you forgive each other our faults or whatnot, but you hold it on to this little thing that he didn't say seven years ago. Huh. Now you can hold it on to it. It started off as a, a, a marble, now it's a boulder. Now it's hard to get rid of. You're constantly thinking about it. It's like, look, let it go. You should have been let that little bitty thing go. Come on. Verse 5. And whoso, <clears throat> and whoso received one such little child in my name, Come on. receiveth me. But whoso, whoso shall offend one of these little ones right. which believe in me, Come on. it were better for him that a millstone were hung about his neck. Come on. And that he was drowned in the depths of the sea. So a lot of just like in those uh what's those churches when Catholic churches mm -hmm. they're touching little boys. Mm. They tell you like it was better of a mill song be tied around your neck than you to touch any of these children that believe in me. We gotta be careful. Quit letting letting Satan take over our minds, man. Come on, verse seven. Woe unto the world because of offenses. So that's a warning. Come on. For it must needs be that offense come, but woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. You got some, bro? Uh uh, no, uh, that was okay. I hold it there, bro. I right, we're gonna go to Proverbs chapter 15, verse Proverbs chapter 15, verse 16. One verse. Mm -hmm. Okay, bro, just get that one verse for me, and then we're going to go to uh, Proverbs. You get just one verse and let Brute get the Proverbs 34. Okay, Proverbs, Proverbs. chapter 15. Yeah. You just, just going to hit one verse, fam. Yeah, he's going to get Proverbs 15 for me, and then I need you to get Proverbs chapter 30. Yeah, verse 16. <clears throat> oh, dagger. 
Mm-hmm. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 16. All right, so we're going to go to Proverbs chapter 5, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 16. Come on. Just one line, and then bro going to grab Proverbs chapter 30, and we're going to start at verse 24. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 16. Uh-huh. Better is little, little with the fear of the Most High. It says better is what? Little. It says better is little. Nowadays, you got people saying that you have to have buku money in order to take care of this, that, and third, mm. right? It says better is little with the fear of the Lord. It's better to, it said better is little with the fear of the Lord. It didn't say without the fear of the Lord. I can have the least things in the world, but if I got the fear of the Lord, it is way better than what? Than great treasures uh-huh. and trouble therewith. Because at the end of the day, you hear a lot of people say mm-hmm. more money what? More problems. More problem. That's right. You hear a lot of you hear rich people say, "Look, I was happier when I was broke. I was way happier than when I was broke. Now that I got money, it, it, it seems like everybody is in my pockets. Everybody wants to be in my pocket. You got uh, people killing themselves over what money? He says better is little with the fruit of Lord than treasure and trouble there is." Now we're going to go to Proverbs chapter 30. Verse 24. Verse 24. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 24. Let me know when you get there, bro. Well, I'll let you know when I get there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 24. What did it say? The book of Proverbs chapter 30, verse 24. There be four things which are little upon the earth. There are four things that are what? Which are little upon the earth. It says four things that are little upon the earth, right? But what? But they are exceeding wise. So look, these four things that's on earth, they the smallest things on earth, but what? The most but I said are, they they, but are, they are exceeding wise. It said they are beyond wise. It didn't just say just wise, it said they're or exceeding wise. They're super wise. These four small things. Come on. Verse 25. Uh-huh. The ants are a people not strong. The ants are what? A people not strong. Come on. Yet they prepare their meat in the summer. So look, these these are the smallest insects in the world, or the ants, but they prepare their meat in the summer. Because what well, they know a time is coming in the fall, I mean in the winter, they're gonna need food. Right. They prepare these ants are preparing for each season before it happens. It's like, oh, we preparing for each season before it happens. Uh uh-uh. uh. Or we preparing, and it said these are ants. These are the smallest things that you see. And then when you look at ants, man, they they straight or a they call a army, mm-hmm. an army of ants. Right. When you see these ants, they straight move in unity. They straight, if you see a line of ants, they go into this one hole to bring the food down or the leaves or grass, whatever. They going down there and storing this, the food on one accord. On one accord. Come on. Verse 26. The conies are but a feeble folk. These are bunnies or rabbits, right? These like a prairie dogs or some cony. Yeah, like yeah. a cony. Yeah. It's like these are feeble, but what do they do? Yet yeah, make they their houses in the rocks. So they let they get protected in the rocks. They had their houses inside of rocks. The wisdom in that it's like we need to be making Christ our rock. Mm. Uh-huh. We need to be building uh, a foundation that lasts forever through Hamashiach. He needs to be our rock that protects us. If you see these bunnies, they go to the rock and hide inside of that to protect them. Come on, verse 27. Verse 27. The locusts have no king. They have no who? Have no king. All right. Yet go they forth, all of them, by band. And look. These locusts, they don't have a king that directs them. They don't have a king. But when you look at the locusts, they are all on one accord. They they move in a band. They all come at one. They call them a swamp. Huh. A swamp. They are moving as unity as one. And they have no king. Just imagine if you live your life with Hamashiach as your king. We can, look, we can take down numbers. All this was going on the other day when the police officer killed, bruh, it wouldn't happen. 
If we all fear God and keep the commandment, it's coming. The army is being built now. It's coming. Don't get it wrong. It's coming. Yeah, but you notice, you notice a lot, brother. No, you no. notice that all these insects and animals that these the, the most I'm telling you about, they are small and little things. Yeah, they small and little things. And guess who mocked these things? The army does. The United States of America, they army mock every insect there is that the most High created. Where do you think the helicopters come from? All that. The the with the, the army men when they climbing the walls with them little sticky uh -huh. thing, they come from the frogs. They get that from the frogs. They get all this from the most high. They they look at his creation, they study his creation, like okay, look, we can make something just like that. They try to duplicate it. They try to duplicate it. I got a, a quick Go piece. Uh, Mark chapter six, verse seven, real quick. And he called unto them, unto him, the twelve, and began to send them forth by two and two, and gave them power over unclean spirits. So uh, even a Mashiach, you know what I'm saying? He sent us out two by two. He didn't send us out one by one. Right. All right. All right that's two people. Taking down all demons, right. just two people. Mm -hmm. Come on, verse twenty. Verse twenty-eight. Come on, the spider take a hold with her hands. So look now, you see a spider. All her food that she catch, she catches with her hands, right? Though it hits the the spider web, it gets stuck on the spider web. But she take her hands and she wrap her food up on the spider web. Come on. And is in king's palaces. So look, these are the ugliest bugs on the planet Earth. But these things live in what? The king palaces. A lot of people despise the ugliest creatures. But these are some of the most wisest creatures that we can learn from. Let's hold there. Now we're going to go to Sirach chapter... 19, that's sort of verse 23. Sirach 19, verse 23. The book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 23. It's crazy how we can straight learn from animals, man. Right. Uh, and it reads, hold on, hold on, there is a hold on, wickedness. Let me get there with you. Oh, it's a lot. You know, I, you know, I be going, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Fire off, <laughs> man. Look at her, man. That's right. <laughs> Word is beautiful, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. I'm thinking we out on the street, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Okay. The Book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 23. What it say? And it reads: There is a wickedness, right? And the same, an abomination. Uh -huh. And there is a fool wanting in wisdom. Is a what? There and there is a fool wanting in wisdom. So you you have people that are considered fools that are what looking for wisdom. Mm. The reason why because they are looking for wisdom to try to keep up with this person because the Most High is dealing with this person. We're trying to seem like he's the smartest or she's the smartest person to ever touch planet Earth. Mm. Say so these are people or fools wanting in wisdom. Come on, verse 24. What did it say? Verse 24. He that have small understanding. Him that have what? He that have small understanding. It said him that have small. Uh, it didn't say a lot of understanding. Small. It says small understanding. He that has a little understanding. Just a little bit. What? And for the most high. A person who had just a little bit of understanding. He don't have to understand everything it said just a little bit of understanding and first god is what is better than one that have much wisdom that has what that has much wisdom he's better than somebody who has a lot of wisdom nowadays everybody wants wisdom and understanding it says look he that have small understanding and for god is better than one that have much understanding and what wisdom and transgressive the mo the law of the most high Said, look, this person is better than him that has a lot of wisdom and transgress the law of the most high. This person has much wisdom and is breaking the laws of God. That's why I say it's a fool that is wanting in what? Wisdom. wisdom. He getting all this wisdom, but still breaking the laws and statutes and commandments of God. Mm. But all that wisdom doesn't mean nothing 
if you if you don't have the fear of God. That's why it says, look, it is better for him that has small understanding and for God than one that had much understanding and break his law, statutes, and command. So, like, brother, these are the scriptures of the powerful scriptures of little. Yeah. Everything is small. Everything is small. It's a big thing. Go ahead. Verse 25. Now, you go 25, but we was going to hold it there. Uh, Okay. Verse 25. One more. Verse 25. There is an exquisite subtlety and the same is unjust and there is one that turneth aside to make judgment appear Come on. and there is a wise man that justifieth in judgment verse, tw- verse 26 what did it say verse 26 there is a wicked man uh-huh. that hangeth down his head sadly uh-huh. but inwardly he is full of deceit and this is a person who humbles himself right is it is a wicked man? He hangs his head down super low, like he's humbling himself. Oh. But inwardly, this man is full of nothing but deceit. Oh wait, the dagger, bro. Oh, we have to, we have to pay attention. Oh. We have to truly, yeah. truly humble ourselves when it comes to the Most High, or He will humble us. Oh, well, you don't want that to happen. Nah, Boy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an example. You don't want Him to humble you. Boy. Like stay humble. Boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm example too, bro. I'm a, I'm example as well, man. I'm not gonna even speak on mine. You know, everybody know it, but hey, you don't want the most out of them. You know, sometimes you might not, you might not uh, come up out of that. Right. So we're gonna go to uh, Luke chapter eighteen. Luke eighteen. We gonna start in verse nine. Luke chapter eighteen, verse nine. Make sure. We'll make sure y'all getting some uh understanding <laughs> on the chat because I can't see it, but just put some nines if we all on one accord. We're at Luke chapter 18, verse 9, spoken by royalty. Make sure we all on one accord. Get some nines in the room, make sure we all on one accord. Yeah, we got some nines. Are we good, bro? Starting at verse 9. Yeah, Luke chapter 18, we're going to start verse 9. And he spoke this parable unto, unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. And did what? And despised others. Come on. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee. Uh-huh. And the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. Yah, I thank thee that I am not as other men are. Extortioners, Mm -hmm. unjust, adulterers, Mm -hmm. or even as this publican. So now you see him, he talking about everybody else except self. He talking about what they doing wrong and not what... He's doing wrong. All right. Now putting that mirror up, right? Yeah, most definitely. What do you you say? Verse verse 12, what do you say? I fast twice in the week. I do what? I fast twice in the week. Uh What else? I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up his, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto the heaven. Come on. But smote upon his breast, mm-hmm. saying, Yahweh. He said, What? Yahweh, uh-huh. be merciful to me, a sinner. Look at look, the Pharisee went there like, look, I do this, I do that. He's he's bragging all about what he's doing. The publican, he went out there and just like, look, Lord, just have mercy on me. With his head low, he said, Look, just have mercy. We just read the script earlier where it said just a sinner who keep his head low, but inside is what full of deceit. This man, he kept his head long and just said, Lord, look, just have mercy on me. What, what did the Messiah say? Verse 14, what did he say? I tell you, uh-huh. this man went down yes, to so? his house. This man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalted himself right. shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. But look, we have to say humble. You see, this is a man... 
in his eyes is a lower stature than him. He said, look, he, he looked at him like he was nothing. He talked about him like, look, this man, hey, look, Lord, I'm glad I'm not like this man. Mm-hmm. The Messiah said, look, I tell you this. He went down more justified than him because he truly humbled himself. The person that he looked down on actually got it, and he didn't. Come and that's on. and that's a, a, a that that previous um, verse that you said, man, that you read regarding people that be uh, having their head down, but inside they're full of deceit. You know what I'm saying? You guys gotta remember, you know. I just read in, in one of the comments, we can't fool, we can't fool the most high. No, we can't. Oh, you know, we can't fool the most high. And, and and eight times out of ten, you can't even fool the people around you. Right. You know what I'm saying? You you really fooling yourself. Right. You know, because after a while, you know, we all we are spiritual, we are spiritual beings, you know what I'm saying? We can we can sense, sense. certain things, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like Especially if like if, if like 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 let's say for instance we're in a room together, you know, and this is a this analogy, but we're in a room together and you try to you know squeeze out a, a, a silent one, you know, thinking that okay, ain't, ain't nobody heard it. But Negro, somebody we can smell it. You know what I'm saying? We can smell it. So, you know, don't try to, you know, act like you're 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 humbled, you know what I mean? But inside you you are deceit, you're deceitful. You know, you're deceitful. And again, you don't want the most high to humble you. Man. You really don't. You you would prefer to humble yourself, to pray for humbleness, to, to pray for whatever probable spirit that you might have upon you to get up off you and lower yourself lower than 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 a, a snail's uh, bottom. You know what I'm saying? Because truth be told, you know, again, you don't want the most high to humble you, brother. Or sisters. Right. Jump down verse 18. Verse 18. Psalms 18, verse 18. No, I mean, Luke, Luke 18, 18, verse 18. Psalms, boy, my you, bad. My you bad. didn't bad. jump. My bad. You know what I'm saying? My problem. I'm going off, baby. Going off. So you did tell the joke, though. Go about with verse 18. Psalms 18, verse 18. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master. Right. Notice this is a ruler. This is somebody who's over people. It says a certain ruler. Come on. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? So look, he he knew the Messiah had to be the Messiah because he said good master. Right. He called him by name, said good master. What shall I do to inherit eternal life? Right? Come on. And y'all sure say that to him. Why call us down me good? Uh-huh. None is good. Save one. Come on. That is the most high. Come on. Thou knowest the commandments. Right. Do not commit adultery. Mm-hmm. Do not kill. Right. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. And he said, All these have I kept from my youth up. Have I kept since what? From my youth up. Come on. So he's like, he been taught. He said, Look, I've been keeping my commandments, right? So I've been keeping the commandments. Come on. Now when Yahushua heard these things, mm-hmm. he said unto him, Yet lackest thou one thing. Lack is what? Thou one thing. He said, look, you got, okay, look, you got this down back, but you lacking this one little thing, right? This one little thing. Come on. Sell all that thou hast. Do what? Sell all that thou hast. He said, look, sell everything you got. None of that means nothing anyway. He right. said, look, sell it all. Sell all the little things that you have. Let it go. Sell it. And distribute unto the poor. He said, give to the poor, right? And remember, he said, look, he know the commandments. Now he's telling you, sell all you got and give. They didn't say give to the rich. They said give to the poor. That is the least that are among him. He got to give this to the poor. That is somebody who's below him. Come on. And thou shalt have treasures in heaven. Have treasures where? In heaven. Uh-huh. And come, follow me. So then, you know, look, sell all your earthly treasures and follow me. And you have treasures stored in heaven. What did he do? And when he heard this, uh-huh. he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. But he was what? He was very rich. I mean, he was over other men. 
his his paper was super. He was balling. He had it. Come on. And when Yahushua saw that he was very sorrowful, uh -huh. he said, "How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of Yahweh? For it is easier for a camel to go through an eye, through a needle's eye." Then for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. Because he believed he already got it. That's the problem. A rich man already think he got it all. You can't tell a rich man what the kingdom of God is because he think this is the kingdom. Mm -hmm. He think he already got it. A poor man knows it's something that's better than what he sees every single day. That's the problem. That's the difference between us poor folks and the rich folks. We know it's something that's better than what we see each and every day. And we're hoping, right. hoping that we make it. The rich folks already think this is kingdom. That's why you always hear them say, look, this is my kingdom down here on earth. Mm. This is my kingdom. Like, no, this ain't our kingdom. We're looking for something way better than this, and everybody right. won't go. That's what right. Messiah told them. They have their reward. You know? Messiah already told them you they 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 have their reward already. Yeah. Don't be like them. You know, they, they think they got it all. They they already got their reward. Tell you store your, your, your treasures in, in heaven in, in, in the kingdom of heaven. Bring it out out. I won't go to first Corinthians chapter five. We're gonna verse one. We're gonna do one through six, man. One through six. Hey. The book of first Corinthians chapter 5 verse 1 it is reported commonly that there is fornication among you and there is what there is fornication among you and we know what fornication is come on and such fornication as is not such as much so long, as is not so much as named amongst mm -hmm. the Gentiles right that one should have his father's wife. So who, whoever this is, he's writing to the, the uh, church of Corinth. He's saying, look, this, the fornication that you're doing, it ain't even among the Gentiles, the non-believers. And you're supposed to be believers. You're trying to take your father's wife. That is unlawful. Fornication is any unlawful sexual act. That's why he ended it saying that you're trying to take your father's wife. If somebody inside of the church is trying to take his father's wife, come on. Verse 2, and you are puffed up. Said, and you puffed up. You're trying to take your father's wife and you puffed up. Come on. And have not rather mourned that he that have done this deed might be taken away from among you. Come on. Because look, if you don't take this a little sin away from the body, it would affect everybody else. And everybody would think that it's okay to take your father's wife. So I want big bro. Verse three, what it say? Verse three. The book of First Corinthians, chapter five, verse three. For I verily as absent in body. He said, Look, though I'm not around, come on. But present in spirit. And we said it all the time. Like, look. Sister is her in spirit, or brother is her in spirit. Even though we don't see them physically, they are her in spirit. Come on. Have all, uh, it says, have judged already mm -hmm. as though I were present. Come on. Concerning him that have so done this deed. Come on. Verse four. What does it say? Verse four. In the name of our power, Mashiach Yahweh, when ye are gathered together mm -hmm. and my spirit. With the power of our power, Adawan, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Come on. Verse 5 to deliver such an one unto Hashatan uh -huh. for the destruction of the flesh. Come on. That the spirit may be saved in the day of the Adawan, Yahweh Shah. Come on. Verse 6. What does it say? Verse 6 Your glory is not good. Come on. Though ye not that a little. That a what? A little leaven, uh -huh. leaven if the whole lump. So then you know, like a little sin can destroy the whole bread of life. Huh. We supposed to be the body of the Messiah. We supposed to be the body of the Messiah. 
Right. Supposed to be manifesting a living bread. Shut up, my big brother. It says, Lynn, you know, if you had this little scene going on in the church, it would destroy the whole body. It would That's disassemble right. the assembly. It, like bro said, it would disassemble the assembly. Right. If you got one sensor bad on your car and the car not working, it's, it's going to fail emissions. You won't get tagged. You won't get tagged. Yeah. If you had one rotten apple in that basket, what's going to happen with that basket? The whole, the whole basket, basket, basket turn especially with bananas. bananas yeah, bananas do, do that real oh, quick. Well, you got one bad banana. Like, yeah, it's a rat. Ain't, ain't that what the non believer do? He go bananas. Yeah. Oh, you know <laughs> no, he go eight. You go eight. <laughs> there, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Verse seven. What does it say? The book of First Corinthians, chapter five, verse seven. Purge out therefore the old leaven. Come on. Like the old man. The old man. Right. right? Purge out therefore the old leaven. Come on. That ye may be a new lump. Be a who? A new lump. The old lump. A new lump. So we're trying to be new lumps. Come on. As ye Go are ahead. unleavened. As you are what? As ye are unleavened. Come on. For even Hamashiach, uh -huh. our Passover is sacrificed for us. So look, family, we have to let sin go. We have to let sin go. A lot of people, we we justify sin. We justify sin. The first thing we say is all of us sin. We're all of us sinners. No. All right. No, we all have sin. We all have sin. We all, exactly. We all have sin. Practicing Exactly. <laughs> Thanks. Little leavening. Leavens the whole lump. And, and you can't, there's no great area in this. You can't be halfway in and halfway out. Either you in or you out. Right. You, you can't, can't be lukewarm. You, you, you can't serve two masters. You know what? You know how it go. Hey, look, we're gonna go to Luke. Luke chapter sixteen. We're gonna start in verse ten. And also, while listening, man, like this class also should have you renewed in your mind, not just your sentence, your whole nature should change. Yep. You know, me and you to have many talks, especially these brothers right here. I didn't talk to Solomon talking about that. We all used to be something. We all used to be something. I wasn't nothing. I thought it was something. Right, we thought, right, we thought we were something. Right, right. Right. I thought I was something. People thought I was something. Bro, we no. talking about this part right here has been a great part of my life. Oh, right thanks. Right the best part. Best part of my life. Same here, man. Man, the best Great. part of my life, man, because I'm, I'm saying, man, after after a while, man, you 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 come to terms and find out, man, when you do humble yourself, all your five senses they open up. It don't make you no lame or none of that Great. stuff. It's straight. It's straight. Open your eyes up. You see more. You taste more. Yeah. You feel more. All of these things open up to the fullest in the spirit of, of our power, man. And just imagine, yeah. like, look, when. When you look at your brother and your sister, that it's like, look, the despised, right? So it's just like those that have been despised at the end of the day, it's like those are those that who was rejected. Those are the ones that are actually trying to lift up God's people. Uh -huh. Like everybody who's been despised, it's like you see them every day. It's like, look. You've been despised, I've been despised, you've been despised, and now we look at each other every single day or talking to each other every day. Okay, now we have to lift our people up. Straight up. <laughs> got to lift Israel up. Got you, man. That's commanded, man. Mm -hmm. So count your blessings, not your stresses. That's right. That's right. Count your blessings, not your stresses. Hey, D, why are you going to write that one down? Write that one down. <laughs> All right, verse, uh, we're on Luke chapter 16. 16. Yeah. Luke chapter 16. Yeah. We're going to start in verse 10. Yeah. Verse 10. I just want to say real quick one thing. Um, we have a We have a sister on the chat that I, we haven't, I haven't seen in a while. The oh. sister with the longest Hebrew name. Oh. Denied. Yeah, Bina, 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 Bina. Bina. <laughs> she accidentally called me this week. That's funny. I'm saying, what's up, Bina? She said, well, I accidentally called you. It's going to be a new call, but I, I'll call you back. She ain't called back. The man's going to the most high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I haven't seen her in a minute, so, you know. I haven't seen her in a minute. Where you been? Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. 
Now let's go. Let's get back to the lesson. My apologies, brother. That's all good. That's good. good. Yeah. Now let's get it. Luke Luke chapter 16, verse 10. Luke chapter 16, verse 10. What did it say? He that is he that is faithful. He that is what? Faithful. Uh Uh-huh. And that which is least is faithful. Uh Uh-huh. Also in much. Come on. And he that is unjust in the least Uh is unjust. Also in much. Say, so, say, so you know that. Look, if you can be faithful with the littlest stuff, if you can be faithful with the littlest things in life, we know you're gonna be faithful with much. Right. But a person that is unjust or not faithful with the littlest things, we know for sure he ain't gonna be faithful with a lot. Right. That's why. Why? Why do you think everybody? Wants to be super rich. They say, like, "Look, you know you can't handle that kind of money. Uh-huh. You know you can't handle it. You can barely handle the twenty dollars I gave you two weeks ago." Right. Now you're trying to get more money, and we and those persons, those people, cannot be trusted. And once again, there it is. Small things. Saying you 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 got to humble yourself. That that's that's the I because think that's what the that's what the class is really about. Because when you look in searching for the small things, the big things come. When well, yeah. you got big things already, it turns you small. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Look, you gotta look at it like this. It's like okay, a lot of people. Okay, people who have children, right? They don't they don't allow their children to spend a night over somebody's house. They be like, if my child spend the night over your house, because I trust you. So my my sons and my daughter can spend the night at your house because I trust you. Uh-huh. Somebody who you don't trust, you is not gonna let them. No. You is not gonna let your children spend the night at their house, right? Right. When it comes to the Most High, that's how He is. The Word of God is Hamashiach. He said, "Look, I can't trust you with my Word, which is my Son. If we not applying." Our life each and every day, or trying to be like the Messiah, the Most High will not trust us. Mm. He ain't gonna trust us with His Son. Mm. You know what? I never thought about it like that, though. That's, how That's it a is. good point. Though. That's why a lot of people don't have certain understanding, or some people are like, man, I just don't understand the script. I, I, well, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Man. I just don't get it. Well, that's that's your belief. This is my belief because look, the most high don't trust these people with his son. That's why people use the word of God for filthy what lucre's sake. He don't trust them with his son. I don't trust a lot of people with my children. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my son or daughter spend at your house because I trust you. Oh, crazy. That's just how it is. Come on, verse 11. If therefore ye have not been fulfilled. Faithful uh-huh. in the unrighteous manner, right. who will commit to your trust the true riches? Look, if you can't be faithful in unrighteous manner, which is what the the money, right? Who gonna trust you with the word of God? That's who? the true riches. But thou art rich. Verse twelve. And if ye have not been faithful in that which is another man's. Uh-huh. Who shall give you that which is your own? So look, you know, if you if you ain't faithful with his stuff, right? With his stuff, I know you ain't faithful with your own stuff. You ain't gonna take care of your own stuff. You ain't gonna take care of your own stuff. That's why we always have to take care of each other. If I can see you can take care of your stuff, I know. Look, I know you take care of mine. Right. If I take care of your stuff, you be like, you know what? I know, bro. Can take care of his own stuff. He took care of my car and mm-hmm. brought it back in one piece. Right. He ain't bring it back to me with the check engine light on, transmission fluid out, no oil in it. It's like no, the way I gave it to you, that's how I want it back. Mm-hmm. And he washed it. And he washed. And the brother gonna get to use it again because he bought it back better then than when you get, gave it exactly. to him. Exactly. So now, first. and now you trust this person. Right. You trust him, like look, right. hey, bro, look. Mm-hmm. And then you look at you like, bro, you can have it. <laughs> You can have it. I don't even use it anyway. Right. Come on, verse 13. No servant can serve two masters. No servant can what? Serve two masters. Come on. For either he will hate the one Uh and love the other, or else he will hold to the one Uh and despise the other. Right. 
ye cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. So then you know, like, look, you have to choose wisely. Choose wisely. The choice is yours. We have to choose wisely. But remember, it's wise numbers. It's wise in little. That's right. It's wise in little. It's a lot of wise in little. So stay humble mm -hmm. and try not to seek too much. Uh, poor uh, Sirach. I think it's Sirach three. At least Sirach mm -hmm. chapter three, mm -hmm. verse like twenty through uh, twenty-two. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, we're gonna go here real all quick, fam. 25, bro. you might well take it all the way to 25 26. Uh. We're gonna go to rock chapter 3, verse 20. I believe verse that's 20. it. Yeah, I believe that's it. Mm -hmm. Hold on, family. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm on my way. Patience. Y'all getting some understanding in the chat. Let's get that 12 for the 12 tribes. And who's 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 reading right now? Labanai Hebrew. That's right. I'm in the class, you all. So I ain't doing too much typing and talking. Trying to make sure everybody right. You come to Pentecost? All right, so we're going to do uh, Sirach yeah. chapter two, uh, 3, 20 through 22. Oh, dude, birthday and all that. This is the book of Sirach chapter 3, verse 20. For the power, I'm gonna do just do uh, 20 to 21 and 20, get back to 20, it. 21. So, right, Sirach chapter 3, verse 20 through 21. Come on, this is the book of Sirach chapter 3, verse 20. For the power of the, of the wine is great, is what he is great. He said, Look, the power of our Lord is great, and what and he is honored of the lowly, of the humble, of the lowly. Come on. Verse 21, seek not out the things that are too hard for you. So look, stay in your lane. That's right. And look, stay That's in right. your That's lane. Right. It's then you know, like, look, don't be trying to seek just because this person is good, good at this and good at that, or she is good at this and good at that. Say, so look, you stay in your lane. It's telling you, look, don't seek things that are above your strength. If if you can only do 10 push-ups, don't try to do 10 and a half. You know you can only do 10. So look, do your little, and we're gonna keep it pushing. Don't try to do ten and a half or eleven. If the Most High only gave you this gift, stick with that gift. Cause that little gift He gave you can turn the whole body around. Upside down. Upside down. So let you know. Look, stay in your lane. Verse twenty-one. Read it again. This is the book of Sirach, chapter three, verse twenty-one. Seek not out the things that are too hard for thee. Come on. Neither search the things that are above thy strength. Above thy what? Above thy strength. So now you know again, fam. Look, stay in your lane. It's better with little, with the fear of the Lord. Just wanted to go there real quick. Mm -hmm. Good scripture. Good, good, All right, good we're gonna scripture. go to uh, Matthew chapter thirteen. Mm -hmm. Nah, bro, hold that. We just we're gonna go to James chapter three. We're gonna do one through thirteen. Oh man, mm -hmm. look, bro, look, bro. I was about to look, bro. Yeah, it's the spirit, bro. <laughs> bro, bro. It's the spirit. Can you see that? I was just about to. I was just about to say. I, I got a going on, sip, man. Bro. <laughs> man, that was so good, man. I, where where right? we at? James three. We're going high four. Oh, uh, one through thirteen. Okay, one through thirteen. This is uh -huh. the book. Oh, hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, we, Get that with you, bro. Yes, sir. That's the spirit, brother. Bro, I just all oh, praise and glory. Oh, man, honor go to all the praise, man. man. Hallelujah. All praise you, bro. Oh, uh, James man. chapter three. We're gonna sort of verse one. And that's what I wanted to bring out. No, you gonna read. Oh, read. okay, okay. That's okay. What I, uh, bring I thought you were gonna bring it out. All right. You there, everybody there. This is the book of James, chapter three, verse one. My brethren, my who? My brethren, come on. Be not many masters. Be not many what? Be not many masters. Many teachers, come on. Knowing that we shall receive the greater condemnation. So oh. at the end of the day, everybody don't try to be teachers, knowing that you will receive the greater condemnation. Like you start off, you got 120 
videos or you you saying you're gonna do all these videos and videos this and videos that and then you just stop it's like you you just stop doing the work of the most high so like you have to make sure that your calling and election is sure don't try to be a teacher when it wasn't your gift because then you will make the messiah it's like you're spitting in their face it's like you start off doing the work and then you stop. Verse 2. Verse 2. For in many things we offend all. Come on. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man and, a, and able also to bridle the whole body. It's like the aqua just saying. The whole body, one accord, one piece. Mm. Yahweh shies the head. It's a lot, brother. Yahweh shies the head. And if you just I, like like the Spartans, everybody move at once. at once. Everybody protect the right side. Everybody protect the left. So everything that whole shell is covered. Right. Right. Verse three. What it say? Behold, uh -huh. we put bites bits. In, we put bits in the um, in the horse's mouth. So look, there's a bit. We see how small that thing is, mm -hmm. right? We see a bit. If you look at a horse, the bit, it go from one side of his mouth to the other side of his mouth. And it hold in the back of his mouth. This little bitty thing, this little bitty thing is controlling the horse. Come on. That they may obey us. Uh -huh. And we turn about their whole so, body. So when you on the back of the horse, when you want the horse to go to the right or go to the left, you pull on the, 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 the latch. And then it pulls the bit that's inside their mouth. So this little bitty piece is, is controlling their mind, which is controlling the body. You want it to go to the right, you pull, pull it to the right, then it go to the right. Off this little bitty bit that's in the horse's mouth. Verse 4, what does it say? Verse 4, behold, also the ships, uh -huh. which though they be so great. So look, this is a big ship. We see how big these ships is. They come with... Corgos. That's how we get majority of anything to come over here. It's on uh -huh. ships, right? We see how big these ships is. Come on. Behold, also ship, also the ships, which though they be so great, right, and are driven of fierce winds, uh -huh. yet are they turned about with a very small hem. That's turned by him. This little bitty thing that's on the back of this big old boat. It's getting look, it's telling you like mighty winds is going against this boat, and the boat ain't even moving. Mighty winds can't even get this boat to move, and it stay it's stirring on this one path through these mighty winds. But it's saying this little bitty hem that's on the back of this boat is making this boat go left and right. This little bitty thing. Come on. Whithersoever the governor listed. Come on. Verse 5. Even so, the tongue is a little member. Is a what? Is a little member. The tongue. That little bitty piece that we continue to forget about. Mm. That that piece right there. The forgotten member. We keep forgetting about this tongue. It says the tongue is so little. Come on. And boast of great things. And do what? And boast of great things. It, and it said it boasts great things. Come on. And behold, it says, behold, how great a matter a little fire kindled. And you kindled it. Look, you know heard a lot of people boast about what they oh. going to do, what they doing. But then when you be looking for the, the manifestation of it, it ain't there. Oh, mm. It ain't there. It's like, you know, we have to control this little member. Cause everybody be watching. They waiting. Look, your enemy is waiting on your fall each and every day. He's waiting on you to not do what you said you was gonna do. That's right. He's waiting, so somebody can be like, "See, point that finger. Point the finger. You really ain't about that life. He really ain't about that life. He he said he was gonna do this in the third, but he ain't did it. He really ain't about that life." Like you don't want to be labeled. You don't want to be labeled that. Come on. Verse six. And the tongue. And the tongue. 
What? And the tongue is a fire. Is a what? Is a fire. Come on. A world of iniquity. Mm. So is the tongue amongst our members. Come on. That it defileth the whole body. Uh huh. And setteth on fire and setteth on fire the course of nature. And it is set on fire of hell. So look, with it, with it, with the tongue, man, you can either bring life. Or you could bring death with that little tongue. Mm. You can either blow out the fire or keep the fire going with and that you can tongue. Blow on into candle it too. Straight up with that with that tongue that's in your mouth. Mm -hmm. So we 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 can't forget about that small member. Come on, verse seven. For every kind of beast. Uh -huh. And of bird, right, and of serpent, right, and, and nope. things in the sea, right, is tame. Is what is tame. And notice it says serpent. You know, Satan is a what? It's a serpent. It Say, and it's tame. You can tame them. You can tame the beasts, the birds, serpents, and the animals that's in the sea. All these things can be tamed. Come on. And have been tamed of mankind. You see this in the what's that the circuses? All these people with the circus, they didn't tame all these animals. They got birds, rat, and bites. Huh. How do you have a, a bear trained bear to ride a tricycle? You got lions walking across ropes. Then you got the, the serpents, you see them blowing at the little. Uh, the, whistle, the, uh, the flute, the flute, and then a serp it, it dances to the rhythm of what he's blowing. These animals are being tamed. Come on, but the tongue, but the who, but the tongue, uh -huh. can no man tame? Can who? Can no man? It's a little, tame. No man can tame a tongue. That's it, and it's in your mouth. It's in your mouth. You can't tame your tongue. That's why we have to be careful the things that we say. Come on. It is an unruly evil. All right. Mm. Full of deadly poison. Come on. Verse 9. There with so that's like that's like the tongue of a of a serpent. Because if you look at it for what it is, serpents, they keep their poison in their tongues. It's also in their fangs. Well, some some got their poison in their tongue, just like certain frogs. They poison is either on their back or in their tongue. So you can kill people from the things that you say. Verse 9. Verse 9. Therewith we bless your house. All praises to the most high. Come on. Even the Father. And therewith curse we men. And do what? And therewith curse we men. Come on. Which are made after the similitude of the most high. I said, look, this with this same tongue, you bless God, but curse men. And these men are made after the symbol tool of God. It doesn't make sense. Like, it says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, but then it's like now you got a, a double-tongued man. He unstable too. This is a double-tongued man. And you look at snakes, their tongue splitting what? Two. Got to be curved. Got to be curved. Come on. Verse 10. Out of the same mouth proceed of blessings and curses. Right. My brethren. My who? My brethren. These things are not so. Uh, so like, Come on. My brethren. These things are not so to be. Come on. Verse 11. Do a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter. Verse 12. Can the fig tree. Fig tree. The fig tree. My brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine fig. So, so can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh? Come on. Verse 13. Who is a wise man? Who is a what? Who is a wise man? Uh -huh. And endue with knowledge uh -huh. amongst you. Right. Let him show out of a good conversation a good his what? works. A good what? Let him show out of a good conversation mm -hmm. his works uh -huh. with meekness of wisdom. I'm going to hold it there. Good one. 
good, good, good precepts. <laughs> hey, look, we're gonna go to uh, first Samuel. We're gonna slow that. We're gonna go to first Samuel, chapter 17. We're gonna slow that, verse 36. First Samuel, first Samuel, 17. Got it. 36. Yeah, let me get that with you. First Samuel family, chapter 17, verse 36. 36 or 26? 36. Yes, sir. That's right, 34. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hold on, family. Let me, uh... Let's see. The first Samuel chapter 17, verse 34. Come on. All the way to what? Uh, oh, we're gonna take it to 51. Okay, I'll make sure we all on one accord. Does everybody get some understanding? Just want to make sure we all on one accord. Everybody getting some understanding. Throw seven up in this deal. Yeah, throw seven in the room. <clears throat> First Samuel chapter 17, verse 34. Make sure we get some sevens. Are right, we good? And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb out of the flock. Uh -huh. And I went out after him uh -huh. and smote him. And did what? And smote him uh -huh. and delivered it out of his mouth. And remember, this is a younger brother. This is David. This is a young brother. He talking to Saul, telling him what he didn't done. Cause Saul trying to figure out David, like, look, I, I killed a Philistine. Hmm. So Saul, like, look, man, I don't think you about that life. He said, well, look, let me tell you what happened with me. And he's explaining him his story, showing him that, look, I wrestled with lions, tigers, and bears to save what was mine. Oh, my. Huh. Like, look, are you, are you ready for that? It's a question with, with yourself. Like, are you really ready to defend what's yours? He said, look, I, I wrestle all these things just to say what's mine. Come on. And when he rose against me. Rose against me. Come on. I caught him by his beard uh -huh. and smote him uh -huh. and slew him. Come on. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. Uh -huh. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them. He said, look. Just like I did it to the lion and bear, he said, look, this uncircumcised Philistine, he said, look, I'm going to do it in the exact same way. He's nothing in my eyes. In my eyes, he's just like this lion and, and this bear. He's as good as dead. Come on. Seeing he had defied the armies of the living power. Come on. David said, moreover, the Elohim, the Most High, that delivered me out of the paw of the lion. Come on. And out of the paw of the bird, uh -huh. he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. Come on. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the most high be with thee. Come on. And Saul armored David with his armor, uh -huh. and he put an helmet of brass upon his head. Right. Also, he armed him with the coat of mail. So look, he now you see David, he a young man. Remember, David's a young man because at the end. When Saul see all this going on, he talks to his man. He like, hey, who is that? Who is that? He said, look, that's Jesse's son. That's David. So now he he's strapping this young lad up with all this armor. With this is chain, man. with the chain. He got. <laughs> hey, look, he got he got David girded, ready for war. But guess what? This ain't the the armor that David was looking for. He said, no, nah, look, this ain't my armor. We know what our armor is. Right. Ephesians chapter 6. Mm -hmm. He's like, look, Saul, I don't need your armor. He know what his true armor is. Come on. Plus, too, Saul was heads and shoulder over everybody. Right. And David was a little a little young scrap. Right, you a know young lad. Yeah, so he, that, he, that there go that little again. Yeah, yeah, go that little, little again. again. And Saul was tall. He was Yeah, Saul was head and shoulders above all uh, the most of the people. You, you know, know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, so, so imagine him trying to put on because it says right here, <laughs> right. and Saul armed David with his, his arm. Right, right, <laughs> right. That's his. That's arm. like he trying to put on. That's like your your son. You put on your son. Your son put on your clothes right now. 
Right, you're swallow looking crazy. Up. Just like <laughs> swallow them up. Just right? swallow them up, man. Come on. And de- okay, excuse verse, me. 39. verse 30, 39. And David girded his sword upon his armor. Uh-huh. And he assessed to go, for he had not proved it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not tested, right? So mm-hmm. just, just like the most high proves us every day. Right. He ain't tested. We get proved every day. We get tested every day. That's what the proof means. So he's saying, mm-hmm. like, look, he I ain't. I ain't test your sword or none of your armor yet. This stuff can be straight defected. Right. He can come through the, the shield or this, this breastplate and kill me. I ain't proved yourself yet. Come on. And David said unto Saul, mm-hmm. I cannot go with thee. He said, I can't get jiggy with this. Well, I have not proved them. Come on. And David put them off him. Come on. So now he took off this man's armor. Come on. And he took his staff in his hand mm-hmm. and chose him five smooth stones right. out of the brook Come on. and put them in a shepherd's bag. So look, he put them in a bag, so they had to be small. He took five stones and put them in a bag. Come on. Which he had, even in a script. And his sling was in his hand. Mm-hmm. And he drew near to the Philistine. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David. And the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth. He he was what? For he was but a youth. He said, look, this is a little man. This is young Thundercat, right? Come on. And Rudy. Uh Uh-huh. And of a fair countenance. So he was was light-skinned. Right. He was like, man, get out of here. He's like, yeah. He just like, like, look, he just looked at like, look, just they're just a pretty boy. What he finna do? And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staffs? And a Philistine cursed David by his gods. And a Philistine and a Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air. And to the beast of the field. So he's telling David, like, look, I'm about to kill you. He's tell, this Philistine telling David, like, look, come over here. Let me go and kill you so all the fowls of the earth can come down here and eat your carcass. He he boasting. Now, you see his tongue boasting. Ooh, I'm just Big stuff. Ooh. We just read in James chapter 3 about the tongue boasting. Mm-hmm. He's bragging and boasting what he about to do. So make sure everything that you're bragging and you're boasting about, you can finish it. Right. Shit, come on. Verse 45, what did he say? Then said David to the Philistine. Now, now it's David talking. Come on. Thou comest to me with a sword. With a who? With a sword. Come on. And with a spear. Uh-huh. And with a shield. Come on. But I come to thee uh-huh. in the name of the Most High of hosts. Come on. The Elohim of the armies of Israel. My Lord, yeah. Whom thou has defied. He said, look, you got all your armor on. He said, look, I come to you in the name of the Most High Yah. I don't need none of that. I got my armor on. Come on. This day will the master come on. With, will this day will the Most High deliver thee into my hand and I will smite thee and take thine head from thee. Come on. And I will give the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air Come on. and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a Elohim in Israel. Come on. So that same that same ditch that he was trying to dig, it fell upon itself. That's what David was trying to tell him. Like everything you say you're gonna do to me, guess what? I'm gonna do to you and your own. That sound like how many more a Mordecai, right? Hmm. Well, on that boy on the gallows, the gallows. that he made, right? Yep. Go ahead, up. And all this assembly shall know that the Most High save it not with sword uh-huh. and spear. Come on, for the battle is the Most High, and He will give you into our hands. Come on. And it came to pass. And it would. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David. That David hasted and ran towards the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag Come on. and took this a stone Come on. and slain it 
and smote the Philistine in his forehead that the stone stuck, sunk mm. unto his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. So look, you see the power? David had the power. Ooh. You see him, like, look, he ain't got this shield. He ain't got this sword. He talking all this stuff to David. David ain't run from right. the battle. Saul and his men ran from the battle. You read it from the beginning. Saul, David ran to the battle with a, with a, a rock on a slingshot, pulled it back, and it sunk in his forehead. He didn't kill this man with a rock. Come on. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone mm -hmm. and smote the Philistine and slew him. Right. But there was no sword in the hand of David. There was no what? No sword in the hand of David. Just like this little rock that he used to kill the Philistines. Christ is our living rock. Mm. We can destroy anything that That's comes right. against us. That's right. Anything. That's he was right. that he's that, that that rock that followed them in the wilderness. In the name of Hamashiach. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Power. Straight up. We got the power. We just gotta show up like David did for the fight. Yeah, and don't be scared. Either. And don't be scared. David didn't run from the fight, he ran to the fight. Yeah, right now we gotta stop making excuses. Yeah, right. My bad. Bring right it out. Right. Bring it out. Right now, you know, we we already got man. Look, if you if you put a, a cat or a rat in a corner, they are gonna fight you. Oh yeah, they gonna fight. They gonna come up out the corner. You know what I'm saying? And aren't we more greater than some rats or 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 a cat? We are we are we are the tribe of of Yehuda. We are. We are Deuteronomy uh, seven and six. You know, we we are a special people upon the earth, and we have been brought down very low. But that doesn't mean that that we have to stand down there and 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 continue to to have this heathen bastards uh, uh, knee on our neck right. or or the devil. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just because you have you have failed, it says in the, in the scripture, a righteous man falls but he gets up seven times you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so we cannot be scared around here man it's it's way too late in in this hour bro for real for real bro, it's i'm talking about it's way too late in this hour y'all for us to even be to even for us to even be arguing over over minute uh uh doctrinal differences these heathens ain't go ain't go don't care about you believing in multiple wives or, right. or if Esau is an Arab or not, right. or if there's some Israelites in Africa, they don't care about none, none of that. that. It's no. bigger than that, man. Yeah, it's you big. know what I'm saying? Now look, we got to take self about the equation, man. Like at the end of the day, it's like, look, they at war with all of us. Everybody who the same skin complexion, the children of God, that's who they at war with, man. They, they, you don't see them out here killing the uh the Asian man sitting on his neck or the white man. It's us. Or the African or no other nation. Other nation. Look, it's, this, it, look, they at war with us, man. Yeah, this whole attack is against they the children have, of Israel. Facts. They at war with us. We at war with us. And you know, it's like this, man. You know what I'm saying? Like they say, you don't respect us until we come together, man. That's why the scriptures say, gather yourself together. Man, look, if we if we straight stood out, if we if we had the 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 mindset of militant mindset, like they do, like the police officers do out in the street, like look, they just it was hundreds of them. It's a video that just went around. So it's hundreds of them straight standing in a straight line. And this woman straight guy. Huh? Protecting the guys at the house. Yeah, protecting. It's like, look, if we had that 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 militant mindset, bro. Look, they do you think these people would? They already afraid of us, right. low key. No high key. We yeah. already know. Look, they they are afraid of us. If we straight had the militant mindset and we straight stood as an army for each other, it wouldn't happen. Huh. None of that would happen. That's those They'll those be spirits. afraid. That's those old spirits. Let me just like, brother. That's those old spirits, family, from 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 time past. 
You know what I'm saying? They know those old spirits are still on this earth. You understand? And they and that's that's the thing though. I, you know what I'm saying? They they like you say they already scared. They clamp their purses. They even see us. They want to go across the street. Huh? You know what I'm saying? They all we that they because they those old spirits already know the power. It said there's no end of all the people. So whoever was in the ancient days is here on this earth today. Right. That's, that's all I wanted to say, bro. At verse 51. Therefore, David ran and stood upon the Philistines and took his sword and drew out of the sheep thereof right. and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. Hallelujah. Yeah. So he look, he he used his sword. He done took Elias' sword and the Philistines' sword, I mean, and cut off his head. And he was a man of his word. He made that happen. He made it happen. He, he kept his it word. Came to pass. So yeah, he made that happen in the name of the Lord. Mashiach, man. We know, man. So look, we got the power, man. We just gotta show up we like David gotta, did. Gotta exercise that. And we just gotta we just gotta put in our on our minds just, just one thought. You know what I mean? That the that he that is in us is greater than he that is so in the world. world. You know what I mean? And we have to remember these scriptures that we read. You know, if you sit in your bed and reading the scriptures and stuff like that, but if you ain't gonna remember it at a time of need, what you reading it for? You know what I'm saying? What what is he reading it for? Then? If you ain't going to remember the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? When you get angry, you know, it says be angry and sin not. But you get mad and angry and then you, you want to say, uh-uh, uh-uh, forget him. I'm leaving. Or forget her. Whatever the case may be. What did you read the scriptures for? Right. Mm -hmm. We have to remember, you know, just like you said, we have to be, you know, we have to stand on the rock. The, the the chief cornerstone. You know, you get a cornerstone or whatever. Now you can build up. You can build a strong foundation. You have a strong foundation. You can build anything, but you have to have a strong foundation. And 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 our Mashiach is our foundation. And we have to remember, you know, he he came he came here not glorious looking. You know, not ruddy. You know what I'm saying? Not. This 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 plain old 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 Yahshu. Right. Low estate. In a low estate. And he was a carpenter. And he called, he called fishermen. You know, un unlearned men. Right. To and, and look and, and they changed the, the world. Yeah. They helped change the world through the power of the most high. So when we are out there, when we go through our day-to-day -day lives and stuff like that, you remember the small thing in your time of need. Remember the small scripture that you that 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 you that you've been reading for so long. Remember them. Because, like what you just said regarding regarding the topic, there's wisdom in that, man. You know, we all thought we were somebody, you know what I'm saying, before we came into this truth. You couldn't tell me nothing. Right. I'm talking about nothing. And and I and I didn't have no daddy in my life, so I didn't follow no man. But now, look, I'm a servant to my brothers. <laughs> and became greater men right. in a small thing. See, that's 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 what makes it so beautiful, man. That's what makes it so beautiful because it's not grievous. No, it's a lot. It's not grievous, this thing that we have and commanded to do. That's right. It's not grievous. But you got the rebellious. They just don't want to do it. Hey, that's so, on hey, that's on you them. know, it is that's a it good, is. hey, like I, like I tell them all the time, if you don't want your portion, I'll gladly take it. Right. And share it with my brethren. Right. 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 Good. Sorry about that. No, it's all no, good, boy. Let's read the move. Yeah, we good. Yes, I'm already there. Yeah, I'm already there. Proverbs 24. Yeah, Proverbs 24, verse 30 through 34. 
Hey, look, all praises, bro. Let Dang. the spirit move. Don't yes. quench the spirits. Hey, that, that's that it. You can't never do that. All right. We're in the book of Proverbs, chapter 24. Hey. You there? You there? Yeah, I'm there, bro. Chapter 24, verse what? No, probably, yeah, verse 30. Verse 30. Book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 30. I went by the field of the slothful. Of the who? Of the slothful. So look, this is a slothful man. He said, look, I went by the field of a slothful man. So this slothful man owns what? Land. Mm. He's a slothful man, but he owns land. He said, I went by the field of the slothful. Come on. And by the vineyard of the man void of understanding. Come on. He, this man has no understanding. This man got oh, uh, grapes, but he has no understanding. He can make wine, but has no understanding. Come on. Verse 31. And lo, it was all grown over with thorns. Right. And nettles. Right. Had covered the face thereof. Uh -huh. And the stone wall thereof was broken down. So look, it's like he got all this land with a slothful man got land. He can make grapes, but he ain't taking care of his land. He's not taking care of none of his items that he has. It's being destroyed, just like the wheat and the turds. It's like, look, the, the turds are trying to grab on to the wheat and choke the life out of the wheat. Hmm. That's what's going on in his yard right now. Everything that he has it is being destroyed by thorns and thistles. The wall has fell down. Because like now, it, just think about you. You got a wall that's protecting you. Your wall fall down. And now you have no what? Protection. Mm -hmm. It's like you're not taking care of your business. Come on. Verse 32. Then I saw and considered, considered it well. Uh -huh. I looked upon it uh -huh. and received instruction. Come on. Verse 33. Yet a little sleep mm -hmm. and a little slumber. A little folding of the hand that's what, to sleep. That's what that's what the slothful people do. Uh -huh. That's what they do. They sleep and they slumber. And they always fold their hands. If you see like the, the old movie show, it's the old man that's on the porch. He got his head down, got his boots up, got his arms folded, and he's rocking in the chair. He's going to sleep. He ain't paying attention to nothing that's going on in the world. Mm -hmm. These are those kind of people. They don't see nothing that's going on in the world. Because they sleep. Say they're asleep, slumber, and their hands are folded. Come on. Verse 34. So shall thy poverty come. Mm -hmm. As one that travail, right, and thy want, and thy what, and thy want, come on, as an armed man. And you see people who on, they ready for war. They looking for something to happen. They always say, "I wish a nigga would." Mm. Mm. We have to be careful, Israel. Don't say, "I wish a cracker." No, exactly. That's, that's, that's exactly that. like bro just said. They don't never say, "I wish a cracker would." <laughs> Right. Mm. <laughs> That's oh, Solomon right. said, like any heathen would say. It's like, look, we always trying to kill each other. And then we got to stop being hypocritical. Right. Straight up. Just like, look, we, we live here and saying, we need to be out here. If, if that's what it is, we need to be protesting, marching about us killing us. No we don't do that, though. So when somebody, if if Israel kill Israel, everybody get quiet. They get pushed up under the rug. It's like, no, nah, we should be like that all day long with everybody who killing our people. We need to start killing each other. Okay, 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 let me ask you this. Go ahead, bro. Respectfully, not to disagree, but respectfully to edify. Go ahead, go ahead. Because I don't want that, because that will become the norm that the go-to is. Y'all don't say nothing about the black on black. Right, okay, yeah, and go ahead, edify. Little, Right, go ahead. What just happened with Floyd? Exactly. Little what happened with you know what I'm saying, Brianna there. But little what happened with all the people that died. You know, Fernando, Mike, Tamir. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, Eric Gardner. That it'll be a little because don't they go back to well, what about black on black crime? Right. But listen, what's the dude football Carbon Nick? Well, I don't, I don't watch football. What's his name? They bow the knee. Oh, uh, uh, Carbon Nick. It was Kaepernick. Kaepernick. We bow the knee that pissed you off. Now you bad about black on black crime? Hey man, that was power, man. Hey, that, that, that stirred up, that stirred up the whole world, man. You get what I'm saying? So it's 
So a violent knee pisses you off. So whether I'm peaceful or I'm protesting violently or just you can't stand by this heathen because Malcolm X said it. I put it on my page today. The price of freedom is death. Okay. The spirit of rebellion goes right with the spirit of freedom. Even their own president, we say yesterday, Thomas Jefferson, that if there is an unjust law, you are obligated to disobey. Responsibility. Responsible. So what I'm saying is this, I don't want to get caught in Every nation, every nation has nation upon nation crime. Oh, yeah. Well, For I, sure. I, I, every oh, yeah, no I, I look at it like this. So I'm not going to let nobody cloud my view or dumb down the way I feel about what's going on in the injustice to cap me off with, you can't talk to me about black, oh, black crime. Put that shit on the shelf, keep talking about that. <laughs> no, you're not gonna dumb me down. No, because I, 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 you heathens got here about fighting each other. No, I dig that, I agree with you, I, I agree with you. And- um, Oh, I agree, I was just like, sure, you know, we know. You was right, oh, yeah. I'm telling you, you have just a little wisdom and foresight. Oh, yeah, hey, If somebody has used that- Against me. Mm -hmm. I look at it like this. I look at it like this. Um, I'm gonna whoop my child. Don't you touch my child. Now this me, you the same age. You know what I'm I saying? I grew up in the same school, different parts of the world. Now in my world, I got my ass whooped by the neighbor, the teacher. Yes, bro. And then my parents got told I got my ass whooped when him came home. But, but right. you know what I'm saying though. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what I'm what I'm and for the for the uh the simple, the simple, you know what I'm saying? Is now this, you think, is this, watch out for the simple minded yeah, thing. Is this mm -hmm. that that when I say that I'm gonna whip my 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 child? Okay, well, if we are killing each other, then that's an in house, that's an in house situation, you know what I'm saying? Where can I find it in script? Uh, uh, David, David, uh, David, uh, mm -hmm. David, you know what I'm saying? I had, uh, the reason why we're killing each other and stuff like that. What you and uh Mally went over to the far front of the house. You, what you and Mally went to, we we over here arguing amongst each other. Moses was like, you know, hey, what y'all doing? And then it was like, bam. Right. See, so he but, ain't going there and slew him. No, he right, he's to holler at them because it's in house. Yeah. But when you smite my brother, then that's that, 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 yeah. that, 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 right. that was a problem. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And we head. and we all we all should have that mentality. That, exactly. That, we uh, all should have that uh, mentality, uh, man. You know what I'm um, but what he, but what my brother's saying is, is, is also true to us. Well. Absolutely, you know. What was I saying? No, I that, no, that, no, 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 no. I'm right. saying he wrong by no means. No, no, no. Because no, if no. I don't check you about hurting us, then why am I even checking the heat about hurting us? But I don't want them to cap me with that. Right, yeah. right, right. That's what they do. Right. Exactly. They already do it on Facebook right yeah, now. Right. You know right. that? No doubt. No. And the, and and not they. We talking about our own people doing that. Yes. Okay. Our own. Yeah. See, our own people because our own people, our own people are looking for reasons to continue to sit, yeah. Yeah. To continue to they, sit on their hands, and to continue to duck down and not do nothing. So that's why they say, "Well, what, what did he do? Well, what did you know?" What I'm saying they always looking for for. Well, what was the reason why this that, and a third? Well, look, ain't no reason, you know what I'm saying, for for is good enough for a person to get killed unless he didn't kill, unless he if there ain't a dead person right next to that person that he done killed, there ain't no reason for this brood to get to be dead. No traffic stop is warranted by the rest or death. I said again, there's no traffic stop, no moving violation that has a penalty. Of jail and death, unless it's a DWI or a DUI. Right? right. Give you my violation and send you about your way. Right. That's how that post goes. It's a lot, bro. That little 21 year old boy that just pulled over and had him on the ground, he's giving, I'm scared. Why are you pulling me over? That man ain't you out all kinds of things to do. Yeah. So his grandmama, 90 years old, came outside. And then they knocked her over. The whole neighborhood should have been over there. What? Because they, 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 yeah, it's just like, look, what they trying to do is they trying to instill that fear in us of them. They trying to instill the fear. It's like, nah, like, look, if we take that fear that they trying to instill in us and 
have that fear of the most on our mind, they that ain't got a I chance. They don't have a chance. No chance at all. all right, I'm gonna read that uh that uh verse 32 oh, in the man. book of What's Proverbs. Out uh, uh uh let me just read this one. My eyes plenty of precepts in my head, man. Let me read this one again though. It's uh the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 32. Like he saw in verse 31, he saw all what was going on with his vineyard. Right. And then what he say? Then I saw and considered it. Well, I looked upon it and received instruction. So he saw, like, I would never do that. Like, 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 like right. you might say, I'm not going to let you cap me and water me down and dumb me down with nothing. Yeah, considered. yeah right. he considered it. Like, and he like received instruction. And he did what? Received instructions. What was received instructions? Right. Man, I don't want to call it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we, all, we all, all right, there was no question. So I get anybody online, I apologize. There was no question that nobody was saying wrong. We just want to make sure we cover our base. Oh, yeah, right. Cover each other. Right. right. You know right. what I'm saying? That would, that, that's what makes the body. Nobody is going to grab y'all and walk around. No. I'm on record. I'm, no. You know what I'm saying? It's just not going to happen. My wife, my wife hates to talk, but she has to have it. Yeah, and she right. understands. And Nehemiah tell me all the time, thou was not walking why on my watch? <laughs> like, for real. He ain't going anywhere. Well. And I'm a Hebrew. We walk, boy. You know what I'm saying? But not today. I came from the uh, <laughs> rocket shirt down the street. He's the old man on the porch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. All praise. Yeah. All look. The, the understanding needed to go out. Mm -hmm. And that's how it is. Like sometimes it's what. Uh, one person can't. What word I'm looking for? Edify somebody else can come behind and edify more. Cause we're we want like, body. That's what, that's what like we have each other us. back. The scripture yeah. tell us, right, we're hey, gonna, we're gonna go he to John gonna be a chapter. Teacher. Guess what? He gonna break it. He gonna bring it out. I'm gonna bring the scripture out, man. Bring the scripture out. He know like Moses, like Moses and Aaron. <laughs> Moses had, Hell, had like a speech impediment or something. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what he do? Aaron going to be your Aaron, man. Yeah. Aaron going to be the guy. He going to speak for you. You bring it out and Aaron going to say it then since you and got it. Look at the deeper parts of the scripture. She had Miriam speaking to the people. Mm -hmm. So Aaron was speaking to Pharaoh. Miriam was speaking to the people. And Moses was giving both of them instructions. That's why she had that old fit. That's why she the only one who picked the guy. Okay. Yeah, come boy. Oh, 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 the quarter, oh, boy. Boy, boy. boy. Might as well turn to different stuff, colors. Man, that number twelve. Yeah, boy. Hey, 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 boy. Oh, None of that. <laughs> <laughs> you want something to her? No. Please let not the same come down upon us. Let's get it. Right, come on, bring it out. Now, right, John chapter 6, verse 1. Yeah, let's bring it out. Let's bring it out. Right, John. You want me to talk to him like I like you want me to him like how you white folk? No. <laughs> <laughs> I told you about bring it in. Like, hey, we, like we up, we up. That's where we're going after this. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Bring it out. Hey, John yeah. chapter 6. We're going to start at verse 1. 1 through uh, 13. Oh, <laughs> John, chapter, John chapter 6 verse 1 Come on with it After, the, after these things Yahshua went out Over the sea of Galilee right. Which is the sea of Tiberias And a great multitude Followed him mm -hmm. because they saw his miracles Which he did on them That were deceived Remember we earlier we said look our people Have to be visual people So they saw the work They saw his miracles and they said look The most high is with him that's where we're going. And it says a great multitude of people. So that means it was a lot of people. Come on. Yahshua went up into the mountain. Uh -huh. And there he sat with his disciples. Come on. And the Passover, a feast of the Jews, was not. When Yahshua then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, uh -huh. he said unto Philip, When shall we buy bread that these may eat? Come on. So look, all these people. Coming up to Mashiach. So he talking to Philip. He like, all right. Mm -hmm. 
where are we going to get some bread from so we can feed all these people? Come on. And this he said to prove him. To test him. He's testing Peter. I mean, uh, Philip. Philip. Mm -hmm. He's testing uh, Philip. He's just, he's testing him. He's trying to show him submission to the will of the Father. Trying to show him submission. Trying to show him faith. Come on. For he himself knew what he would do. Christ already knew. Come on. Philip answered him, 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. Take what? May take a little. Come on. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon, Peter's brother, said unto him, There was a lad here which have five barley loaves mm -hmm. and two small fishes. Right. But what are they among so many? So look, notice it says it's a lad, right? It says it's a lad. So that means somebody who was younger than them called him a lad. Now they're getting, they're getting what they need to feed the group of people from a lad. Mm -hmm. Or somebody who's little. Come on. Mm -hmm. So it's saying, you know, like, look, you can get... Look, like we said earlier, look, I learned from my children. I watch how they move and I learn through them. He took Peter, Simon Peter said, Look, it's a, it's a young guy out here. He got some barley and two fishes. So now they're getting what they need to feed the congregation of people from somebody a little. Come on. And Yahushua said, Make the men sit down. Right. Now there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down in number about 5,000. That's 5,000 people. Come on. And Yahushua took the loaves. Right. And when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples and the disciples to them that were set down. And likewise, other fishes as much as they would. Come on. When they were filled. When they were what? When they were filled. All 5,000 people got fed off. Mm. A loaf of bread and two fish. That's a little. That's a little bit. All these people got fed off a loaf of bread and two fish. And that's a perfect example of the totality of scripture. They got fed spiritually and, and physically. Thanks. Uh -huh. Because He's if you look at it, the spirit moved upon Christ, right? And he broke bread with these people and all these people got fed. That's kind of, that's, it's like, spiritual. right, yeah, most definitely. Because it's like, you, and they got fed because it says the Jews' Passover was at hand. So you already know Jerusalem is jam-packed because that's one of the three feasts that we have to come up and keep. Right, mm -hmm. and we have to keep it. Have to keep it. Tabernacle, Pentecost, and Passover. Start that 12 over again. Come on. When 12. they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Come on. Therefore, they gathered them together and filled 12 baskets with fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over. And above unto them that had eaten. Right, that's it. He had yeah, left Ooh. over food from a loaf of bread Man. and two fish. That's how it be though down here. That'd be so that be so much food that be left over. Feed the people both spiritually too. Well, you already ate from the word. That's what we do. Right. So, 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 so. Eat the fact. Eat the spiritual food first. And then yeah. that's why I be so much left over. That's that's why I be so much food left over because everybody, well, everybody, everybody is already in the spirit. Yep. Already, it be super food, super food. And guess what? Remember we was out, we was outside in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of little drinks. We came back. Oh man, we ain't even get. I ain't dealing with you no more. And it was still food left. It was still food left. Thought we was out of that. Nah. Still food, man, because everybody getting fed spiritually. All right, we're gonna. This is the last, uh, last script we're gonna go to, and then we're gonna uh, end it with Psalm 17. Mm -hmm. 
So we're gonna go to Judges chapter seven. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do one through eight, I believe. Mm-hmm. And then Nehemiah said, whole chapter, let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> Verses, baby, let's get it. All right, so, the book of Judges. Wait, let's, yeah. everybody, everybody get some understanding. Drop that 12 in the chat. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The book of Judges, chapter 7, verse 1. Then Jeroboam, who is Gideon, right. and all the people that were with him, mm-hmm. rose up early and pitched beside the well of Harad. So that the host of the Midianites were on the north side of them by the hill of Mora of uh, Moray. So go ahead. In the valley. So look, they getting ready for war. They getting ready for war. And this is Gideon. If you go to war with the Midianites. Mm-hmm. Now they rose up early. And said they rose up late. It said, look, they rose up early, ready for war. Midianites, Amalekites. And other nations from the east. Right. Well, it was looking deep. Mm-hmm. You know the angel of the Lord told me that you. Yeah, you. You gonna handle that? <laughs> right. Go handle that. Hey. Big hey. Go handle that. You gonna handle it. So that. I love the fact. All right, come on. Verse two. Come on. And the Mosiah said unto Gideon, the people that are with thee uh-huh. are too many it's, for me to give the Midianites. Look, now look at what the Mosiah said. He said, you got too many people with you. You got too many people with you. If you fit to go to war, you got too many people with you. When, when have you ever heard that before? Ever. We say it's strength in numbers. The Mosiah said, uh-uh. You got too many numbers. You got too many people. Come on. I'm going to start it over. Verse 2. And the most I said unto Gideon, the people that are with thee are too many for me to give to the Midianites into their hands. Right. Lest Israel vaunt themselves against me. Sam, making it seem like they the ones who did it. Right. He said, nah, uh-uh. If I leave all them people with you, Israel going to say they did it. They took down the media night. She said, nah, not going to happen, Captain. Not on my watch. Huh. Uh-uh. He gets the praise and the glory, not man. He already told you the battle is not yours. It's his. We just in the army. That's it. Come on, yeah. verse three. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. Go ahead, bro. Same. Hold oh, on, wait a minute, bro. You, you, got you know, it's kind of like, you know, like the class that I had just did about why the most high allows it. See, the most high take what you got going on you drop a miracle in that deal so that he gets the glory you gonna get your glory in it you know what i'm saying but he because when god does something for you and brings you out of something that you know you just could not get out of by yourself and you got out of it and the lord made a way through that you're gonna go run and tell it right and that's how the most high name is still in this earth and y'all don't to this day because of the mighty works they do every day in people's lives and the mighty work they did physically when he was here 2,000 years ago and when, you know, the most high touched down and threw Adam down, you know what I'm saying? You know, it was over 6,000. Right. But mm-hmm. it's the works that he do. People talk about one stood against many. One had a revolution against the whole world. One man came and followed the whole world. One man followed the whole nation. You know what I'm saying? When you hear these type of stories, it's like, man, one man slew a giant. Man, who, who, who got this? God of Abraham? Because your question, who God is that? Right. That's the God of Abraham. That's the Jake. That's, that's right. Mm-hmm. Right there, little boy. That's the boy. That's the boy. That's my God. That's my hello. That's the Yes, sir. Second half of verse two. Lest Israel vaunt themselves against me, saying, My own hands have saved me. That's right. Verse 3. Now, therefore, go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, mm-hmm. Whosoever is fearful uh-huh. and afraid, uh-huh. let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. He said, Look, those who scared, he could have even been talking to Gideon. We know Gideon was like, uh, 
doubtful. Yeah, a little doubtful. It seemed like he was a little fearful. People that do on this side. Right. Do on oh, that's it. Right. Can you do me a, 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 a trick right here? Like, nah, just too many excuses. He said, nah, hey, look, those who are afraid and get excuses, tell them go home. He said, look, go home. So that's why, Israel, when you see a lot of people who start off with you, they don't finish with you, it's because the most high said, look, they need to go home. If you scared, what they say, stay on the porch. So he said, look, if they scared and they're afraid, if they ain't ready for this war and they ain't ready for this battle, they need to go home. Come on. And they return of the people 20 and 2,000. Uh -huh. And there remain 10,000. So they started off with 32,000 people. When he said, whoever's scared and afraid, go back home. 22,000 people went back home. Wow. Wow. That's more than That's half. More than half. That's two thirds. <laughs> wow, I just tripped off this. Yeah, that's two thirds. That's two thirds. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Verse four. Come on. And the most I said unto Gideon, What'd he say? The people are yet too many. He said, You still got too many people, Gideon. You got 10,000 people. You got too many people. Come on. Bring them down. Unto the water, bring them and to I the what? Try them for the there. So he said, "Look, you got ten thousand people. You got too many people still. Look, bring these ten thousand people down to the water, and I'm gonna test everybody down here at the water. Come on. And it shall be that the whole that be a, a come on, sort of. I'm gonna leave like you, right? And it shall be that." Of whom I say unto thee, mm -hmm. this shall go with thee, and the same it says, the same shall go with thee, and of whomsoever I say unto thee, this shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. So he said, Look, whoever I say is ready for ready for war, you take him with you. Whoever I tell you they ain't, leave them there. Come on, verse five. What did it say? Verse five. So he brought down the people unto the water, uh -huh. and the Most High said unto Gideon, Come on. "Everyone that lappeth of the water with his tongue, uh -huh. as a dog lappeth, uh -huh. he uh, him shall thou set by himself." He said, "Look, whoever it's just like war. If we at war, and the water's in front of us, if you get down there and you down there drinking water like a dog, you ain't ready for war. You ain't paying attention to nothing that's around you." Because your head is down into the water. When you look at a lion, when they go down there to get their water, they crash down, they lick the water, but they looking around. They looking around, seeing who's around them, seeing the the, uh, the zeals and the, the other animals in the, the jungle with them. But these men down there drinking water like a dog. Come on. Likewise, everyone that bowed down upon his knees right, to so, drink. So that's one. That's the person who go to war. He said, "Look, those are the ones you take. Cause they go down to the water. They got one knee down on the water, and they taking the other hand, and they just taking their one scoop and they drinking the water. But they paying attention to everything that's around them. Those are the men that's ready for war." So, like I saw when we brought out a beautiful precept. I broke out a precept. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 30. How say? should one chase a thousand and put and two put ten thousand to fight? Except the rock had sold them and the most high had shut them up. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's nice. We're in verse six. Come on. This is the book of Judges, chapter seven, verse six. And the number of them lapped to put up their hand, put up their hand to their mouth mm -hmm. were 300 men. Look, he started off with 10,000 men at the water. He started off with 10,000 men at the water. The most I said, when you go down there to the water, I'm going to test everybody who's drinking of this water. They just like us. Now, when we come to Christ, he's the living water. He's testing every single body. You're like, nah, look, they ain't ready. This person is not ready. That person is not ready. Now you wonder why, like, you don't see this person no more. This person don't come around no more. This person is this or this person that because they was tested and they failed the mission. I don't want that foot or that pinky toe. I don't want that arm. 
Now right. you got to keep it pushing, keep mm -hmm. it pushing. So the most high, he's down there testing them with the water. They started off with 10,000 men. He told Gideon, okay, look, now you just lost 7,700 men. Now you only got 300 men. They started off with 32,000 men. Now he's going to war with 300 men. Come on. Right. But all, but all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knee to drink water. Come on. Verse 7. And the Mosai said unto Gideon, By the 300 men that lapped, mm -hmm. that lapped, will I save you? Come on. And deliver the Midianites into thine hand. Come on. And let all the other people uh -huh. go, every man to his place. He said, Look, all the 7,700 men, let them go home. Come on. Right? That's how they brought up that 300. You're right. Verse 8. So the people took victuals in their hand uh -huh. and their trumpets, right. and he sent all the rest of Israel, every man unto his tent, and retained those 300 men. Uh -huh. And the host of Midian was beneath him in the valley. Come on, keep going. Verse 9, and it came to pass the same night that the Mosai said unto him, Arise, get thee down into the host. For I have delivered it into thine hand. All right, so we just hold it up. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, like, look, they started off with 32,000 men, ended up with 10,000 men, then ended up with 300 men, and then they went to war and won. They beat a battle with 300 men. Then, you know, like, we have strength in numbers, but also the little numbers that you have, you can take down armies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with that being said, the most high wish. yeah, and, and of course you you know the most high will him because every time you look up, it said the most high said, the most high said mm -hmm. he's speaking to him. Now you know, look, the most high is with him. And another oh, thing about. and another thing, what he did, he sent all them away because he didn't even want that sacrifice to be that big. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, I already know how they gonna do. They ain't they ain't gonna be on one accord. Send them home, send them home. You know? It did say so like man, look, you you see it all the time. Like, man, what I be doing, I be uh every time I go to the crib, I live on the back road. Mm -hmm. So I always look at all the dead animals on the street and I be and I calculate the animals or whatnot. And I always think about like Israel in general. Like when I see like a dead possum or a dead raccoon. Or dead squirrel, or dead bird, or dead dirt. I'd be like, dang, they didn't cross over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They didn't make it. So it just like Israel, we have to cross over. Everybody won't cross over. Everybody won't cross over. So when I see these animals, I'm like, dang, they straight didn't get to cross over to make it to the other side and they got killed. That's basically like at the beginning of the lesson. We talking about the spider, the ant. Right. Like you learn in nature. Like mm -hmm. Most I show you so much through nature. You're like, dang. Ain't no, ain't no, animal, ain't no animal can they fight to death. They don't play. And they Why know. When we get to us, we supposed to be talking the food chain. We fight. And for real, for I, they real. actually know when trouble comes. Yeah. But Israel. They gave me extra sense. Most of Israel, man, don't Israel consider that. Not consider. They do not consider that, man. That's Isaiah 1 3, man. They, they do not consider that they about to cross that road and don't see that Mack truck coming. You understand, man? That's real, man. Like Uriel said, man, he considering these animals, which they know, but they didn't make it. Right. See what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, with that being said, family, uh, Put some savings up in the room. Make sure everybody got some understanding. We don't want to call. You said what, bro? You said got to pay him. Got to pay for that one, bro. <laughs> yeah, good, good lesson, good class, brother. No, all praise. Oh, all praise. All praise. Yes, yes. yes well, we had Psalms. You say you gonna go so Psalm, Psalm 17. seventeen? Yeah. Psalm seventeen. Can you read Psalm 17 something? No, that was Psalm 7. Mm, yeah. Anybody about telling you about that 37? Man. Ooh, that Psalm 37, brother. Mm -hmm. 
We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it on the next class. We'll get it. We'll get it in. Yeah, you already, it's already in there. Not to turn to Psalms thirty-seven. Yeah, hey, hey, man, the spirit, the spirit, the spirit. The spirit. <laughs> Dang. All right, so we're gonna uh, end it with Psalms seventeen. Mm-hmm. All right, with most has permission. Let's get it done. Yep. Hey, you want me to read it? Yeah, bro. All, 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 all praises, all praises. If thou don't mind us. Mm, 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 I can't. Sitting there like it was going to come to me anyway. Yeah, I, I sure was. I ain't gonna... All right, let's get it. The book of Psalms, chapter 17, with the most High's permission. Here's the right. Oh, most high. Attend to my attend unto my cry give ear unto my prayer that goeth not out of feigned lips verse 2 let my sentence come forth from thy presence let thine eyes behold the things which are equal verse 3 thou hast proved my heart thou hast visited me in the night thou hast tried me and shall find nothing. I am purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Verse four, concerning the works of men, by the word of thy lips, I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Verse five, hold up my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. Verse 6, I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me, O Yahweh. Incline thy ear unto me, and hear my speech. Verse 7, show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that savest by thy right hand. Them which put their trust in thee. Bro, those that rise up against them keep me verse 8 keep me as the apple of thine eye hide me under the shadows of thy wings verse 9 from the wicked that oppress me from my deadly enemies who come past up me about verse 10 they are enclosed in their own fat with their mouth they speak Proudly. Verse 11. They have now confessed us in our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth. Verse 12. Like as a lion that is greedy of his prey and as it were a young lion jerking in secret places. Verse 13. Arise, O Most High, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Verse 14, from men which are thy hand. O Yahweh, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly thou fillest with thy head, whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasures. They are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. Verse 15, as for me, as for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Hallelujah, say la. Yahoo! Hallelujah! Yeah, yeah, all praises and glory and honor goes to the Most High. You gotta bring that. Uh, you gotta get that. Uh, that climax up to it. You know, what I'm saying next time, okay? Well, I, I don't know what, what I do. Just can't leave it on there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? Right, climax up to it. Shalom, oh, I'm family. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm looking I'm like what I missed. I pray missed. everybody got some understanding, man. And uh, yes, 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 yes. Most High be with all us in spirit and in truth. Enjoy your
Enjoy, Enjoy y'all Shabbat, Shabbat, Shabbat as it approaches. Oh, approaches. And then, uh, Lord's will, we be at y'all uh, sooner than later. And y'all, 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 my brothers and sisters, real quick, I just want to say something. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> we, um, we are living in a trying time right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of times, you know, we have experienced in the past, you know, rioting, this, that, and the third. Um, we know that that Jacob's trouble is coming. So I encourage all of y'all, you know, um, that are not, you know, from this area, from wherever perspective or wherever respective areas that you are at, to grab hold on to brothers and sisters of like-minded um, mm -hmm. spirits and come together, you know what I'm saying? Because truth be told, we don't know when they're gonna lock things down. You know what I'm saying? We don't know when things are gonna, Jacob's trouble's gonna hit. It's gonna, it might come up, you know, smoothly or whatever, or it might come, you know what I'm saying, quickly. So I I, I encourage y'all, you know, to stay in your scriptures, to, to, but you you guys need to start gathering yourselves together with like-minded Hebrews. You know what I'm saying? And and real talk, you know, all that Joseph's the father, you know, um, uh, reincarnation, um, all that stuff or whatever. Not we go have to we we go we'll we'll talk about that. You know what I'm saying when Hamashiach come. But for right now, y'all, you know what I'm saying. Real talk. If you are, if I'm just one person, I believe that. Uh, uh, Joseph is not the father, and there's 50 of brothers that believe that Joseph is the father, and I'm going to be like, no, I'm not dealing with y'all because y'all believe that Joseph is the father, and guess what's going to happen to me? I'm going to get tore out the frames, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, we're not trying to hold on to my little uh, water, you know, food and stuff like that solo. You know what I mean? So I, I encourage y'all, man, you know what I'm saying, to gather together because truth be told, you know, it's about to be ugly out here. And when it gets ugly out here, because it says the tribulation is going to come that the world has never seen before. Right. You did tribulations go come, man. You know what I'm saying? So y'all better start gathering yourselves together. You know what I mean? And all this other stuff that what you think it is and all that stuff. Or whatever, like, man, leave that for the birds, bro. Leave it for the birds, man. Because we all we got, man. You did. We all we got. And you single... Uh, sisters and stuff like that or whatever. Not, now, I'm not telling you to jump on some uh, Negro's lap and stuff like that, but come up with, uh, holler at your uncles or your brothers and stuff or whatever or not. You know what I mean? You ain't got to be all lovey-dovey and, 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 and have a husband and stuff, but you got to have a brother a brother um, over you, though. Elders of the church. You know what I'm saying? Elders, yeah, thank you, bro. Elders of the church. So find some, find a congregation, you know what I'm saying, that you can rock with because pretty soon, you might get rocked solo. Hallelujah. Uh, again, like my like we said, we, we hope to see you sooner than later, man. And happy Pentecost too, man. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. When he come, he's going to teach us all.